How do you negotiate and get what you want? You know, if you're in Vietnam and want to know about business, actually, if you're anywhere and want to know about business, you might want to check out Tom Peng. He, uh, he doesn't fuck around. Yeah, Tom Peng. He's A-OK. -okay. Peace. So in business and life, oftentimes you have to negotiate to get what you want because people have different expectations. You want this, you want that. They only want to give you this, they don't only want to give you that. So you have to negotiate to reach a common ground for people to agree for things to happen. Negotiation skills are important and a lot of it is sales skills, right? Uh, negotiation skills are part of sales skills. And today I'm going to give you three tips on how to negotiate better so that you can get whatever that is you want. So tip number one is don't expect to get what you want immediately. All right. The worst thing that you can do to, when you go into a negotiation is appear desperate. I really need this now. Right. If you appear desperate, then the other side will smell it. They can feel it and they know you're desperate. You need it so much. That's when the price go up or the conditions are harder because they know you will do more to get it, right? So always prepare to spend more time to get what you want. It's almost like chasing a girl, right? You're, when you're desperate, the girls are, they back off. They're like, oh, you're kind of creepy, man. Right, but you gotta take your time. You gotta like, you know, chat with them. You know, get ask a lot of questions, and you know, get their vibe. You know, you gotta work on it, right? So same thing with negotiations in business and life. You gotta go in there with a chill attitude, right? You don't go in there and say, hey, you know, I really, really like you. I, I need, I need, I need you to be my girlfriend right now. No, right? You go in there, you know, hey, you know, it's okay. No big deal. If you don't like me, I dig that. No problem, right? And and when you uh, convey that chillness, when you appear like this deal is not that important to you, you know the girls, they will like you more. Your business partners, your customers, they will be more interested in doing business with you. It's an interesting human nature. Uh, People want it more when you don't want it as much, right? So don't expect things to happen immediately. So when you go into a negotiation, be prepared to spend time on it. You're not gonna get it immediately. Let me give you another example. Recently, I was negotiating for a villa, right? So the other side won six, I, and I know they're gonna watch this video, so they're gonna know I talk about it. The other side won six, and uh, I only want to pay four. And so nothing happened. They want six, I want four. Uh, I'm not gonna change my number, right? And you know, uh, Warren Buffett, uh, one of the richest men in the world today, his negotiation strategy is exactly this. Once he gives you a number, he's never gonna change, right? Negotiation to him is I tell you what I'm gonna give you, and that's it. Whether you like it or not, you take it or you leave it. That is his way of negotiating with anyone, all right? And I, and I like it. Back to the villa, you know, she wanted six. I'm only willing, willing to pay four. I didn't do anything, I just wait. And then of course, COVID-19 wave number two hits. And then, um, and then uh, finally, they get back to me and say, hey, you know, uh, how do you feel about this deal? And then this, we're on yellow, and this is very interesting. And I, and I was like, okay, how about I'll give you five? And then at the same time, they sent me a message saying that, okay, we agree to four. So right at the same time, I said five, okay. And they, said, they sent back the message saying, okay, we'll give you at four, right? So I got it at four, right? So, and the reason I got it at four is because I waited. And uh, the situation turned into my favor because of COVID-19. Uh, things are desperate. People want to you know, lock deals in as, as early as possible. So that's what happened. 
When you have patience, when you wait, good things happen. Tip number one, don't expect to get it immediately. Now tip number two, you have to understand what do they really want. You know, oftentimes, uh, you know, maybe you don't agree on the price, but maybe there's a deeper reason why they don't agree. Sometimes it's just, you know, principle. Maybe they just don't want to lose face. Maybe they have to answer to a, another boss, right? Uh, I'll give you another example, right? I was negotiating for, uh, let's say, an office space, right? I want to pay this price, and uh, I couldn't get it at that price. So, uh, but somehow I was able to reach their boss and I got at the price that I want because again everyone has a different motivation for doing things right so at this level they don't want to lower the price because it makes them lose face but when I talk to the boss you know they just want to get the deal done right so you got to understand what is their motivation some people they don't want to do it with you because of reasons that are not reasonable or rational and you need to understand why they think that way and always figure out who is the real decision maker in this deal and um, you always want to reach the real decision maker once you understand their true motivation then you can try to figure out how to solve their problems and get the deal done so the last tip number three tip is always ask for more than what you want so if you want 10 million dong, ask for 15. If you want 20 million dong, ask for 25. Right? Always ask for more than what you want. And you know what? Girls are, are really good at this, right? Like, like wives or girlfriends are really good at this, right? Uh, you know, it's like, uh, you know, you never take me on a trip to Paris. You never take me to a trip to like, like uh, Europe, right? You know, I really want to go to Europe and, and you know you can't go to Europe. Okay, fine, how about you just buy me a bag, right? So they give you this big wish, right? They want to go to Paris. They know that you can't do it, right? And then they make you feel bad and then they give you a lower goal. Okay, just buy me a Louis Vuitton bag, okay? And then you can do that. And you feel, oh, you lowered your goal, okay, I'll give it to you. So you always start with something more than what you want. So when you lower your expectation, the other side will think that you lowered your expectation, you gave them some concession, like you gave them room to negotiate, and then they will be more willing to work with you, right? Start with something possible and then lower your expectation is how you negotiate. So in summary, one, don't expect to get what you want immediately. Play it out. Make time your friend. Time is your ally, right? The longer it drags on, the more favorable it will be to you. And number two is always understand why they say no. If they disagree, if they say no to you, you need to understand why they do that. Maybe they're trying to save face. Maybe it is really a pricing issue. Maybe they have other obligations to other partners, to other vendors, to their boss. You need to understand why so that you can solve those problems. Number three is always ask for more than what you originally want. So set the bar really high so that you have room to negotiate down. Right? So you can lower your expectation and the other side will feel like you gave them concession and they're more willing to also give you concession. Right? So three tips that will help you negotiate better and help you get what you want. Don't be a fucktard and take fucking action.